Hey, what's up guys, VFX Bro here, and I want to start off really quick by giving you a quick update on the new website I'm developing, vfxbro.com. I'm going to be uploading a lot of new free presets, we've got a lot of great downloads, but I don't want to be making a video for every single free preset that I give away, so if you want to be updated when those presets come out, go ahead and check out the Facebook fan page, facebook.com slash vfxbro, and here I'll be giving a lot more updates on different promos, different free downloads, which will be available on vfxbro.com, and so if you want to be notified when those presets come out, go ahead and check out vfxbro.com or like the vfxbro fan page. Now let's go and get started with this tutorial. Uh, what we're going to be doing is going over this effect. I'm going to teach you how to make yourself into this tune little character that I actually used for the end of the We Are Young music video with tune effects and I'm going to go ahead and run over quickly how to do that. I also took some time to make this template where we can easily manipulate different controllers to animate our own characters with your faces on them. So let's go and get started here. We have After Effects. You're going to go ahead and download the Tune Yourself pack from vfxbro.com and once you have that open here, what we're going to do here, we can see we have our body PNG which I have provided and then this preset here and then the Tune Yourself After Effects project. So let's go and double click on that. This will work in CS4 and above. It's going to give you a warning telling you that it's going to convert from version 9 if you're not using CS4. So hit OK. And it's going to say that you have a reference to one missing effect, but that's totally fine. That preset just hasn't been installed in your computer here yet. But what we have here is this very simple setup here where we have controller, we have uh, instructions here, and we have our head, and then we have our body. And we're going to use our controller here. If we go window, workspace, go to effects, we can see our effects. And you can see here we have a nice controller where we can adjust um, animations on the head. We can adjust the rotation of the head, set keyframes for that. And then we can also adjust the arm speed amount of our arm. So let's go ahead and quickly, I'm going to just put in a number here. Let's say I wanted to make his arm move at 22, a speed of 22. So we can see now if we render through this. We can see here that his arm is waving, his right arm, and his head is even bobbing it down, up and down a little bit with it. We can actually take off this top controller here. But his arm's going to be move, moving up and down, and his head's going to be affected by that. Now, we can also choose to make it inverse motion. Let's change both of the arm speeds to 22. If we make it inverse motion, we can see that it's giving us kind of like this, I feel like he's maybe doing a jump rope or like swimming or maybe even flying. So pretty cool how we can adjust that with just that one click there. And there's a lot of different settings in here. You can just mess around with them. One thing here, which is pretty cool, is if we select our head layer, we can automatically add in a nod. So we can make him nod as um, you might have seen in the original We Are Young music video. But all we're going to do is select the layer and go Layer, Add, Marker. And now if we go back into our controller, this is going to add the nod. So we can select the speed that we want his head to nod at. We select the amount that we want his head to nod, as well as how fast we want his nod to stop. So if we ram preview through this here, and let's actually turn off any of the speed. And again, again all of these variables here are keyframeable, so we can turn them on and off. But if we preview through this here, we can see that at two seconds, when we set our marker, he will begin to nod. And we can st we could set another one at the beginning here. Uh, go layer, add marker, and we can have him nod multiple times. And then if we go back here to our head, we can see I could adjust the amount. I could make this be 35. And then when we get into our head nods, we can see that the head nod is a lot larger. We have a lot more variation on his head nod. It's he's going to be nodding with a lot more intensity. Um, so pretty cool. Let's let's go ahead and get started with the portion that I am most excited about here. You're going to go ahead and import a still image of yourself. So here I have this photo of myself and I'm just going to go ahead and drag that right in. I'm going to bring that into my head composition here and what I want to do is um, just line this up so that it's straight on. So we can see here I'm going to just bring this up quite a bit and I'm going to rotate it. You want a picture that's as straight on as possible. This isn't exactly straight on but it's close enough and I'm just going to line that up there. Um, 
and then you're going to want to bring it as big, blow it up. It doesn't, the resolution doesn't matter a whole lot as long as you can see what's going on. I got the chance to make a couple lyric videos for Disney in which I um, also use this effect. So that's how I learned this. And we're going to start off here by hitting Command Y. And we're going to take our drop tool here and just select kind of like an average thing here. And we're going to start with, off with our face here. We're going to turn this off. And really simply, we're going to be uh, just rotoscoping around the face um, and we're only doing one frame so we can be pretty accurate here and again the way that I'm going about doing this is by hitting the G button and the H button. H button is for hand and then I'm holding down my mouse over to create these this bezier and there we have it and so I'm switching back between forth between G and H. And I just hit tilde to go back and forth between the large preview and the regular preview. And now if I turn that on, you can see I have a nice layer here. And then I simply go on and do this for the rest of the details that I want. So I'm going to hit Command Y again and select the hair now. And I probably want it to be a little bit darker than that. There we go turn that off and then now and I'm not going to get too detailed in the hair I'm going to just give a nice outline of it and probably want the hair and the eyebrows to be the same color so I can actually draw in the eyebrows on the same layer and so we can see that our character is already starting to have some life here Let's turn those off and go for the mouth. So let's turn all these on and see what we've got so far. And that's not looking too shabby. Then we can make some adjustments here. We can go in here and make some little adjustments just where we see things that would look better in a different way. Another thing we can do here in the head layer is animate his eyes, animate his his mouth. If you saw in the original video, what I did was I actually mo moved his eyes and changed his mouth, and that can be done simply by keyframing um, different mask layers. I'm not gonna get too deep into the animation part, but what we're doing basically, there's several ways to do it, but we, one way is that we can just animate the mask paths and use those keyframes to move the mask around and adjust our eye position with that. And there we have it. And so now what we can do is actually turn off this back layer. And we've got our head here. And now if we go back into our body, we can see that the head has been added on. And it looks a little, a little bit high. And so what I can actually do is just move it down where I would prefer it to go. And there we have it. The head has been placed in. He's nodding. And we can add keyframes to this any way that we'd like. And we can take a controller and we can make, give him a nice wave. You can have him wave until this point and then make him stop. Going from this to that way, I feel I'm turning back to